Hey, hello there. This is going to be a tutorial on how to build this Mesh Islands to UV Bounds. It's here also on Blender Market where you can just buy it for 4 euros. Um, what it's about is that you can have any kind of mesh with a lot of faces and with this node, the uh, Mesh Islands to UV Bounds, it will remap all the faces to the UV Bounds. So it will stretch them to the outside and also uh, maintain the proportions. So you can very easily create this uh, kind of textures. And when we go into Blender, this is the tool and this is the node. And what is happening here is, for example, I have a grid. If I make a viewer node, this is just a grid with a lot of lines and I split the edges and then I scale them. And now with this node, it automatically takes all these uh, faces and it will map them in a UV bounds. And if we go into material view, you see what happens here. Uh, and that's very nice to do very quick for some meshes. And if I show you this as well, it spits out the actual UV bounds because here it remaps the original position, but if you don't want that, you can set them to, if I unplug this, now they're all mapped to the zero to one range in the X and Y uh, axis. So it lays them flat in the UV bounds. And if I say selection, I can only select one. So if I do island zero, one, two, three, four. So it also turns them randomly. Uh, here you have a random seed that you can change that uh, turning. So you get a nice uh, change in how the texture looks on all these faces. And if I turn this off and delete this one and we go into the node. So we have a random seed, we have a UV scale so it changes the scale. Maybe we can turn this off. We can see what happens. Yeah, we turn, uh, or we change the scale of this unwrap and then you see the pattern change on the faces of all of them. And when we set this to scale one, it just takes the exact bounds. So here you can also give it a little bit of a margin. So let's turn this one off and then dive into this. And this is how it works. It works with a repeat node where it's doing a process of unwrapping uh, and it goes uh, through all of the islands. So if we go here, here we see we, we have just the regular uh, pattern that we created, the grid, which is separated by a scale node. And we capture this position, cap pos, and we capture the face corner vector. Uh, then we capture the uh, island index and we add one. Uh, There's nothing to see here more, but we need that later to use in our repeat node. So if I delete this one, here you can see um, I'm also storing the iterations. So mesh islands, add one, and then uh, float point. Attribute st statistic is the one I'm taking. And then I'm feeding uh, the index and add one with every repeat. So uh, it goes through oh, this whole process. Then it adds one and feeds it back in here. And it does the same thing until all the islands are solved and unwrapped individually. And here we can see we delete uh, the remaining ones. So we don't want to re um, unwrap all of them again so it unwraps only the last one and then sets the position by this uv unwrap node to be within the bounds and it just adds them up and then i make the geometry into instances i scale the elements uh, and that's the parameter that you saw that you can change the uv scale that comes in here and here we have uh, uh, a menu switch where we can also change the rotation. And that's the random seed that you see here. So random value, uh, one to a hundred. And then 
by changing this minus value we change the seed of the randomness of the rotation and here we multiply it by 90 degrees and then feed it into a two radians and then we rotate the instances uh, randomly by 90 percent or 90 degrees i must say and here by the menu switch you can choose what you want in the rotations then we join them together and here uh, it spits out all the geometry we realize the instances and then we set the position back you can also name your uh, uv map yourself that's here caps uv name uh, and then we set the position again so if i turn this one off it's all mapped here as you can see like they're overlapping like all the pieces or all the faces of the grid they were separate here but now they are mapped here in this square uh, and if we turn this off so the cap uh, position we put it back to where they were and then we have this nice unwrap of all the faces so this is works really well and this is how to do it so go over it one more time so you can see clearly on how to map it how to make your own node or connect the nodes you can buy it also on blender market if you don't want to create it yourself and if we go up again here you see uh, how the node looks and i can for example also do it on an icosphere like put it in now it doesn't work because it needs the edge split it needs separate faces to work to be able to unwrap it and here you can see the scaling and now it's also nice that it has this random rotation here you can see a lines rotation so they all have the same uh, uh, rotation and when we set it to random rotation it also takes into account the seed so you can change the rotation randomly so that's it for this note i hope this helps that you can also create it yourself it's very handy if you for example make uh, procedural structures and you need uh, at the end of every wooden beam or if you have cut tubes you can like put this pattern uh, easily on the, uh, the ends of them for example maybe you find also other other examples that are really nice to use this for but now you know how to build it yourself so that's it for this tutorial and i see you in the next one okay bye